Funny story about the pie, actually. If you look at it, the crust looks a little slimmer. The crust shrunk. So, no, it did not shrink. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them what happened. All right, guys, it's a moment of truth. What's, What's up, Elvin? Welcome, welcome back to another Evan Lena video. Wow. Wow. Today we are going to be making something really tasty. You want to tell them what we're making? Okay, so the first thing we're making is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a blueberry pie. Yes, and not a just a regular one, right? We're doing... It's going to be a blueberry custard pie. Blueberry custard pie. Oh, it's going to be nice and creamy. Oh, yeah. Um, And then that'll be for this video. And then for our next video, we'll be making blueberry muffins. Yes. Um, and we have a really great recipe that we found on Pinterest. So we did. Okay. So the, the pie is from House of Nash Eats. All right. So that's the one we are doing today. And we'll be posting the ingredients and everything so that you guys can see it. Um, if you haven't already checked out our last video where we went blueberry picking, check that out because it was so fun and so tasty. Um, and now we get to make some delicious food with you guys um, with our blueberries that we picked. So let's get into it. Okay, guys. So the ingredients that you'll need is all-purpose flour, some um, vegetable shortening. Um, you'll need butter. We really like truly grass-fed butter. Um, you'll need some salt. And you'll also need some ice water. Uh, and then the other thing that you will need is you will need a pie pan. Um, and then we're gonna start off by making the crust first. So you'll need one of these little rolling pins. Uh, all right. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the pie crust. We actually wanted to make the crust from scratch. Actually, he wanted to make the crust from scratch. <laughs> Yes, I did. So I wanted to make the crust from scratch. So I found the recipe, I think it was houseofnasheats.com uh, through Pinterest. And I'm gonna give it a shot. And once we do that, then we'll move on to their blueberry custard recipe. And so in order to get started, we combine the flour, the sugar, and the salt in a large bowl. So that's gonna be the first step. This holds 16. All right. So, didn't say salted or unsalted, so we will go salted. So, we want to cut this in half. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. I'm telling you, that truly butter is some good butter. It's <laughs> <laughs> the put it in the uh, flour. And then I also have to do something with the shortening here also. Okay. So, okay. so we have the butter in the bowl, we have the shortening. How much shortening is that? Half a cup. All right, half a cup of shortening. Okay, and now we have to mash it. Ooh, this butter is hard. Use those muscles, Ed. Use those muscles. They did say I can put this on a food processor. Maybe that's why. I said either or. I'm just, but you can't, the problem with the food processor is that you can't um, overdo it. If you overdo it, it messes up the recipe. Mm. 
So did they say that you can also mash it by hand? Yeah, there's a specific tool that we would have had to buy to make it a little easier. But if this works for ground beef, it works for it. <laughs> so story time really quick while Ed is mashing up the combination that we just talked about. So um, the other day we had friends over and we were going to cook for them, right? We want to give them dinner. Unbelievable. And <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm a little offended right now. And um, Ed decided he didn't want to follow the directions the way that they were listed. And I was like, hey, we've never made, what was it? Almost like, it was like almost like jambalaya. Yeah. Chicken and rice. And it was like jambalaya. I was like, no, um, sausage and rice. But we were like, I was like, I was like, we never made this before. We should follow the instructions to figure out how to do it. Um, especially since we're doing it for the first time. And what did you do? He did not follow instructions. Because he I made no life attention. so hard. It took forever to cook. They were here, like tapping their feet, trying to, they were waiting for how long? But in fairness, in fairness, I had an idea of what I wanted to do. And because you made me follow the instructions, part of the way is why my idea failed. Because I knew how men, I wanted to always trying the rest. To, men, and always, no, men bro, always trying to cook the to rice. make things harder for cook, <laughs> cook the rice with cook the rice with the with the sausage. She said, it. "Oh wait." And I cooked it separately. The sausage would have been made to perfection. The rice would have been made to perfection, and it would have been a delicious meal. Yeah, that, it, turned it, it out turned pretty out good. pretty good. It was burnt on the bottom. The rice was burnt on it the bottom, okay. but it still the top part, like that wasn't burnt. It still tasted pretty good. But I'm just giving it giving an example of a time when he didn't follow directions and he made things harder on himself instead of listening to me. Right, right. Rules are All right. Meant to be broken. <laughs> All right. Let's return back to um, see how this crust is going. Not too shabby. Broke it apart pretty nicely. Is that how it's supposed to look? Uh, I said no bigger than pea size, so I still have a couple to break up, but we're in pretty good shape. All right. Now that the fat is cut into the dough, is the term. Now we get to add ice water. So we will add six to eight. Six to eight in total, but one to two out of tablespoons. Six to eight tablespoons uh -huh. of ice water. Two. So I guess this is a good part to have a helper with. Yes. So I just put on. Get another one in there. That way it mixes it. And so this this type of crust will be that you'll still see like the butter. It's still a little bit like it's meant to be a little lumpy. But they said it's supposed to be like flaky, kind of flaky, but still buttery. Mouthwater. Mm -hmm. Taking on another two. I don't like anything for you. I'm not sure I need more than that, but. So at this point, we put six tablespoons in. It was looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm not sure what you need. I'm the queen. Yeah, I don't think we need All right, that's it for the ice water. All okay. right, so now what we get to do is we get to kind of put it in a disc, kind of thick disc, um, give it just a little bit of form, but not actually need it. No. And um, we're going to chill it for an hour. And so we're also gonna put it into some saran wrap so that the crust doesn't get all, you know, hard and crispy. Yeah. We want it to stay nice and soft. Just chill. And we are going to chill it for one hour. Maybe. Sorry. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm doing. <laughs> well, it looks like we have a crack on our window, but that's not a crack. That's our dead fern. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. It doesn't look like a crack. It looks like a crack, but it's our dead fern.
Okay, so here are the ingredients that we need. Um, we need one unbaked pie crust, which is getting chilled right now. Um, we need one cup of sour cream, which we have here. We need three fourths cups of sugar, which is a lot of sugar. So yes. if you want to cut that down, go ahead and cut that down. Nonsense. Um, we need one egg. We need two tablespoons of all purpose flour. Um, you need two teaspoons of vanilla. And then you need a fourth teaspoon of salt. And then you need two and a half um, cups of fresh blueberries. Delightful. Um, and that's just for the blueberry sour cream custard filling that we're making right now. If you stay tuned, we will also be making a streusel topping as well. So let's get into it. So the next thing you want to do is grab a large bowl and then you want to put your um, all of your sour cream in there. I don't know, sour cream just makes everything taste better in my opinion. Absolutely like, right. When you put it in your mashed potatoes, so sour cream belongs in everything. So you're gonna put your sour cream, you're gonna put your sugar, so all of the all sugar of is that going in there. All of that amazing, delightful shit. Oh, listen to it. So good. <laughs> you're supposed to be filming that time. Oh yeah, look at this, um, guys, guys, guys. Sugar. The sour cream doesn't look attractive, but it sure is gonna taste good. All right, sugar. Um, the next thing that we're going to need to put in here is our flour. And then the next thing I need to put is the egg and then the vanilla and the salt. So I'm not really good at cracking an egg, so we're gonna we're gonna attempt this here. Woo! I think I did a pretty good job. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. So once you do that, um, we are going to add in our vanilla and salt. And so we need two teaspoons of the vanilla. One, two. All right, and then it also says we need one fourth teaspoon on the salt. Now, remember you can always adapt this to whatever you know you feel most comfortable with. I, would, I wouldn't even do the spoon, I would just do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna squeeze it in. Yeah, one thing, that's good. Now what we need to do is we just need to whisk it all together. Whisk it all together. Whisk it all together. Can you see it? Whisk, 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 whisk. It smells sweet. Yes, delightful. That's right, Lena. Get your workout in. You thought it was only me with the with the pie crust. Get it in. Okay. Look at that beauty. It looks delightful. All right. So now once you've whisked that all together, the next thing you're going to do is add in your fresh blueberries. Now make sure that you get these stems off of all of your blueberries here, especially if you went blueberry picking, you probably have some on there. So we're gonna fold those all in. Do you wanna take a video of this? A big one in. Look at that beauty. Okay. Gonna mix it all in there, get it all covered. You're gonna be careful not to um, squish them. Yes, don't squish the blueberries. Because I love my blueberries wholesome. All right, all right. So that's it for this step. I'll see you in the next step. Okay, now on to the streusel topping. So what you're going to need is some melted butter, some softened butter. Um, you're going to need um, chopped pecans. Um, you're going to need some all-purpose flour and you're going to need sugar. And so what you're going to do is you're just going to combine in all of the ingredients. So starting with the brown sugar and the flour into a bowl. Just do a medium-sized small bowl, is fine. Um, and then we're going to mix in the butter and the pecan. All right, so I'm gonna mix this together. Guys, you know what the best part is? I chose a really complicated recipe, and then after I choose it, I get to watch Lena go ahead and make it. It's great. Now that's all mixed together, now I'm going to add in the butter, um, and then using my hands, I'll try to make it crumbly. All right, so once it's all crumbly like this, um, you wanna add in your chopped pecans. Yeah. So for us, ours actually turned out, turned out a little bit watery, so we added a little bit more flour. So if that happens to you, just add a little bit more flour. We add a little more sugar too. 
He added a little more sugar. Yes, yes, I did. All right, so I'm just mixing it in. This is what's gonna go on top of the pie. Yeah, so if you've ever had a Dutch apple pie, you know those little crumbs on the top, because I didn't know what strudel was until Ed told me, but apparently that's what it is. It's those little crumbs on top of the uh, uh, pie. Okay, guys, we get to now make the crust. <sighs> so excited. So we need to make sure to flour the working surface to flour my hands. And we need to flour the rolling pin. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take our chilled um, crust dough out of the wrap and place it in the center. We're going to roll. It's still a little tough. I'm gonna kind of smush it back. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the kind of excesses on the side and I'm just going to roll it into a little crust. Um, so this is definitely not my area of expertise. Uh, so I'm just trying to do what feels most natural with the excess. Um, I probably will have to rip some of it off um, or transition some of it to the sides. Some of this is looking a little funky but I bet you it's gonna taste real good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the custard on. And... Okay, so the custard is in. Make sure that it's nice and even, everything looks nice. And then we go ahead and we add it's true. Ah, so I made a mistake, guys. I put the streusel on before baking it for 20 minutes. So we're gonna see how it turns out and hopefully it doesn't burn the top. So we just wanna crumble it up as much as possible. It's been chilled for a little while, so. Hey guys, this is almost ready. We are preheating the oven. Um, and this is almost ready to be baked. Okay, here's the moment of truth, it's going in. Okay guys, this is the moment that we take out the pie from the oven. We are so excited. I feel like the camera doesn't do it justice because this thing looks really good. So the pie just came out of the oven. It's recommended that you let it sit for it's recommended that you let it sit for about 30 minutes, 30 minutes um, and you can either eat it warm or you can eat it cool. What we're going to do is we, I think we, we've tried um, blueberry pie and we prefer it cool. So we're going to wait until next day to eat it. Yeah. Um, and then we'll just let you guys know how it turned out then. Yeah. Now, funny story about this pie. Um, funny story about the pie, actually. If you look at it, the crust looks a little slimmer. The crust shrunk. So, no, it did not shrink. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them what happened. What happened was... Remember uh, the story I told you guys earlier? That the... Uh, About... I don't know if we told them, but the, the crust was looking... Uh, the crust it was really thick and it was kind of hanging off the sides. Yeah. And so when we put it in, it actually started falling off. So... Like, 
like started like glooping off and then burning at the bottom. Yeah. So like if you saw inside, I don't know if you saw it, but there's like a little brown smudge, that's what that is. Yeah. The crust was actually like falling apart <laughs> and crumbling down. So that was an exciting adventure. We cleaned that up, we reshaped the crust, and it actually looks better than what it looked like than what it looked like earlier. Yeah. So we're so, super excited. Turned out excited. pretty good. We did a good job. Oh uh, yeah. We'll let you guys know how it tastes tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Beautiful slice out now. Perfect. All right. Oh, perfect. Maybe my slice will be perfect. Right. We will perform surgery. <laughs> there we go, guys. Whee! Here. You can kind of see how it looks in there. Pretty nice. It does look the crust pretty is nice. pretty flaky. Excited. Yeah. This came out good. Mm hmm. There we go. Beautiful. I think that looks pretty dang good if you ask me. Mm -hmm. You can have people have good Let's see. Alright, guys, it's a moment of truth. Oh! Yeah, put it down. You can't. It's hard. It's hard. But it's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's just like there's one that we have in the blueberry place. Cool. Mm. This one needs a little sweet. Which means for this we could put a little less sugar. Alright, I think it's a little hard to um, cut into it. But it actually tastes really good, and once it's in your mouth, it's actually like a really good consistency. It's not the, it's not the crust either, it's the streusel. Yeah, it's the streusel that's hard. And that's because we weren't supposed to leave it in for 40 minutes. Completely the streusel and cough. That's probably why. But, yeah. Thumbs up? Mm -hmm. Let us know down below if you tried this recipe. Let us know if you liked it. Um, for us, it actually turned out really good. I mean, really good. Um, and let us know if you guys have if you guys have any questions, um, and if you guys want us to continue making these kinds of videos um, for you guys because we cook a lot and um, we'd love to show you guys what we do. Um, not only that, but check out our Instagram page. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe if you like this video and you want to become part of our family. Um, and share for anybody out there who wants to try a blueberry pie. Um, go ahead and share this video. Um, and yeah, we will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye guys.